is it going there guys with you here and welcome to a brand new tutorial if you haven't gathered by what we're doing in this tutorial is kind of like a video title to kind of get your brain around what we're doing but if you don't know what we're doing today we're going to be texturing an object and this is the very basic way of texturing an object now i mean we need the uvws which is one very important thing we're going to need a external source of imagery so i mean like this thing here you know photoshop if you've never used it i mean use your own so you can use gimp you can use that's all i know gimp and photoshop so yeah this is going to be the easiest way it's not going to be a 20 minute video it's literally going to be a five minute video of me literally showing you how to texture an object because i don't know every single person that i've done videos before seemed to have made it so it's a 20 minute video and i just don't like sitting through that long so all you're going to do is you're going to select your object nice simple nice object you're going to click your tab key and you're going to click a for all and then you're going to click u you're going to click spot uv and then you're going to set your island margin to 0 0.06 m and you're going to click ok if you want to view that uvw that you've just made you can i don't know go to your uv editing or you can pull a tab out uh, another viewport out which i'm used to doing just because of blender 2.7 so what i'm doing now i'm going to click the view and then uvw and then that's going to show me the uvws that i've actually got on the object that i've got selected so then are you still with me now you know you've not you've not fallen asleep you've not kind of gone a bit crazy because i'm talking too quick lovely so as you can see now nice uvws they're on there they're on the screen this is what we need we need these uvws to put into photoshop or i don't know to texture paint on you need uvws to texture paint on within blender so no matter what you need to actually uvw unwrap you can do it a way better way than that but that's just a simple smart uvw just because that's all i needed it to do so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click i'm going to click a to select all my uvws i'm going to click uvw then i'm going to click export layout and then I'm just going to support, export it to wherever I need to export it to. So I'm going to export it to my desktop. I'm going to click and call it Lodestone because I've already tried doing this tutorial about seven times. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Where's my Lodestone? It's there. So I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to click File. I'm going to click Open. And then I'm going to open my Lodestone UVW. So now you've got a basic Lodestone. So all you need to do now is basically just do what you need to do with it. I know. Add a couple of things in there. Uh, you do what you need to do. But I have already done it. And if you don't know how to actually texture and save the textures as a PNG, then you kind of need to learn your editing software a bit better because I'm not going to be here to hold you on for that situation. It's literally just a quick tutorial. So as you can see here, I have already got my basic texture done. I literally just threw the background image onto there and that's all it is. So my Lodestone texture. All I'm going to do there is I'm going to go back into Blender and simply do this. All you need to do now is you need to, so you can see I've got everything I like and I don't think I need that anymore. So to be fair, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this lodestone texture on top of my UVW and then that should automatically create your uh, your texture. And obviously mine's called lodestone texture PNG, which is groovy. That's exactly what we need it to be. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your materials tab, which if you don't know what your materials tab is, learn Blender a bit more. But, you know, materials tab is the little ball there with a the checkered dots on it, with the little checkered square things on it, whatever. You so if you was to click on this base color, which I'm not going to click multiple times simply because it just crashed. But yeah, if you was to click the base color, not would happen. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to click use nodes, which is going to enable you to be able to use nodes and change what you need to change. So you see where the base color is now, there's a little circle next to it. You can click that and then click on image texture. But because we've already created an image texture, as you can see in the UV editor, we don't need to create new. All we need to do is click on this little browse image down drop link and click lodestone. And there we go, guys. There's your texture within. I'd say that was within five minutes, simply because my blender crashed. So yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, do not forget to leave a like. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you've got any questions, hit them comments down below. If you've got any tutorial suggestions, again, hit the comments down below. I've been Mr. Benji. Thank you very much, and peace out.